Okay, everybody. We are back to work on the house. It's very hot in here with the house wrap up, but without the house wrap, we were getting a ton of rain. The rain was getting on the plywood. We didn't want it to get ruined. So we've got the house wrap all the way around it. We just don't have it on the peaks up there. So the plywood is protected from the rain. But we bought these brackets quite a while ago from Menards for this. And I can't remember what they're called. They're like an undermount. Uh, I don't know. They're an undermount bracket of some sort. That's what we're doing now. We're taking turns, putting them up on the trusses. Um, so it just goes up underneath the truss. And then your your two by sixes will come out each side of it. Kind of hard to explain with one hand, but. So I don't know if you can see it. There's a bracket right here that is nailed up there. So we'll have a two by six to go from that truss out this way to the end truss back there. And that's going to sturdy up the bottoms of these trusses because there will be two by sixes going from this one to that one and then that one and that one all the way down. So that's going to sturdy up the trusses. And once that is done, then we need to get to work on the outside. But we're kind of looking forward to it cooling off because we're both kind of tired of the heat. It gives me a headache and, you know, it's just no fun. So, uh, but yeah, so that's what we're doing now is we're getting all these brackets up. And we've got a pile of two by sixes there that we picked up yesterday. And that's what's gonna go in those brackets between the trusses. We have the supervisor on the job, checking out the work. Do you approve of the work, Mr. Tiny? Do you approve? Yeah, I think that's a yes. He's wagging his tail. So that must mean he approves of the job we're doing. So, not much going on. We're just going to put up all these brackets.
Yes. These brackets, so on some of them, we squeeze them a little too tight when we put the nails in, so the two by four isn't fitting in here, which is why we have to hammer them down because they're, they're just clamped a little bit too tight. <laughs> At one point in putting them up, we did realize that, and we started putting a two by four, a little piece of two by four in it, before we nailed it to make sure that they were spread enough for the two by fours to slide into. But on the first ones, we didn't do that. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna get these all up. Now, let me explain to you what these are. These are four foot on center. Let me get down from the ladder, please. Okay, so these are four foot on center. This is not what the ceiling attaches to. This is just to sturdy up the joists when or the trusses when you buy trusses it comes with paperwork and it tells you what you need for bracing this is one of the bracing that i need 
Now, this is also going to give me a place to put the ceiling two by fours. So these are running in this direction. Now every two feet, we'll get a two by four going this way. And that is where the ceiling will attach. So we're gonna get all these up. And then later on down the line, we will put those two by fours up. Now, we do not want um, sheetrock in this house because personally, I enjoy painting. I'm not very good at it, but I don't like to pick out colors. Now I know I could just paint the whole house white, but living on a homestead, white gets dirty very fast. I don't want to spend 90% of my time scrubbing walls. So we would really like to do a wood interior. So I'm not sure what's going on the ceiling, if it's going to be the same wood as everywhere else. I'm not sure what we're going to do. So I'm not going to worry about putting up the two by fours for the ceiling at this point. That will be way down the line when, probably when we're ready for a ceiling or when we're ready to insulate it, I guess. May, actually, maybe not even then because if I remember correctly, when we insulate it, we're supposed to put like a, either a house wrap or some type of barrier, a plastic something on the, the bottom of the trusses and then the insulation goes above that. So then we wouldn't even have to worry about the ceiling joists at that time. So I don't know. I just know it'll come way later. But putting all these two by sixes in are the bracing that the trusses need. It stiffens it up and nothing's going to go anywhere. <laughs>